Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to paint or repaint furniture. Um, if you have furniture that has just the plain, you know, wood, then it's easy, just like painting anything else. One coat of primer or two coats of paint and you're pretty much, you know, a little sanding and this isn't for you. But if you have furniture that has a finish to it, you know, a shiny, glossy finish and you want to know how to do it, then this is for you. You just can't put paint on it because it won't stick. And if you have furniture that has a lot of detail and that's a lot of sanding, you don't want to do it that way. So let me show you how to do it. I'm in the process of redoing my dining room table. Um, the trend seems to be a lot of people like the tables where you do the apron and the legs white and then the top gets a stain. So it's a brown top. And I like that look and our table was in need of some redoing. So that's what I'm doing. The table's already done. I'll show you that in the video. I'll show a picture of it. But I'm doing the chairs here. So let me show you how to do the, where you have to refinish it from a glossy finish. This is the chair. There we go. I have six of them that go to the table. Okay, now what, you, what I was talking about is you got the high gloss. It's a very smooth, silky finish where paint just would not stick to it. So you cannot just repaint the chair. And all this detail, look in the back, all that detail, there's no way I'm going to try to do all that sanding. So, let me show you how I to do I just recently reupholstered it, so there's no need to redo that. But I do need to take the seat off. So, step one, remove your seat. Okay, cushion's off. Now what you want to do is you want to go around, sand any rough spots. Doesn't have to be perfect, but just sand anything that's chipped. We're not sanding the finish off, because that would just take too long. We're just sanding anything that's rough to be smooth. rough spots are sanded now since we're not sanding the entire glossy finish off the chair because it is just too much work we have a special primer we're going to put on it okay let me show you what that is zinser bullseye one two three primer for all surfaces and the key words right here sticks to all surfaces without sanding okay this will stick to any glossy surface. So this is going to be the key because we don't have to sand the entire finish off of these chairs. Okay, so this is insert one, two, three is what you need to apply first. Apply. Now it goes on a little thin and streaky. So I, am end, I end up doing two coats on all my other chairs so far. I've done three, this is my fourth. First coat of the Zinser Primer, as you can, if you can see, it comes out very streaky. I mean, I don't know if it's just due to the very high gloss finish of this furniture. Um, on my other chairs, I did two coats, only because I want it to be easier when I do the painting. So two coats. This is after the first coat. Okay. And then I'll show you after the okay, second Okay, so the coat. first coat is done. 
instead of waiting, because I'm probably not going to do the second coat until tomorrow, even though you could do it after like one hour or so. I have one chair out back that I did the second coat on earlier. So I have these chairs are on all different stages. So I'm going to take you outside and I'll show you what it looks like after the second coat. Okay, here's the chair after the second coat. Still a little streaky, but it's uh, more of a solid white. Which, like I said, just going to be easier when it comes painting time. So, two coats. And in between the first and second, I sanded it because it comes a little streaky. And I'll sand again over the second coat just to get it smooth right before applying the paint. We've sanded any rough spots. We've done two coats of the Zinser 123 primer, which will allow your paint to adhere to your glossy finished furniture without sanding it down. Now it's time to paint. You do not want to use a brush and regular paint to do your furniture. You're going to get brush streak marks. Doesn't look good. So let me show you what you're going to use. Spray paint. I like this Rust-Oleum Painters Touch the Two Time Ultra Cover. It's paint and primer, even though you don't really need the primer because you did that. And this is gloss. You can do a semi-gloss or a gloss. Of course, this is white because I'm doing the furniture white, obviously. I like this paint. Um, no streaks. You don't want to use a brush. I mean, if you have no choice, then you got to do it. But you're going to get streaks in your furniture. After you prime it, you sand it so the primer didn't leave any streaks. And you use the spray paint. Um, $3.50 a can. Now, after you paint it, I only did one, I did one coat. And then I went back. And if any spots I saw, I did a light second coat. I didn't do the entire thing in the second coat. Not needed because this two-time ultra cover. Now you could stop right there, but I went one step farther and I applied polycrylic. It's a clear protective finish. Give it a clear coat, a little bit of shine to it. Even though I went with the gloss, it already has a shine. But this is going to give a protective. It's going to... You know, especially if it's chairs and, you know, like a chair and dining room like I use. You know, the kids are going to nick it up and you might get scratches in your paint. This is going to protect it. It's clear. It doesn't put any color to it. Easy to brush on. Water-based, so it cleans up with soap and water. And it gives a nice little protective coating. Zinser. Primer. Your glossy, finished furniture. Spray paint clear coat and you have a brand new table chairs furniture whatever you are doing easy and very cost efficient this small court cost ten dollars goes a long way a long way I did so far four chairs and a table and I'm probably about to right here in the can the quarter of the way ten dollars for this 350 for this and this is about I think five or six bucks and that also goes a long way here is a finished chair get a nice white shine and finish to it I just re I had these reupholstered already came out really nice nice solid finish and here's the table I was talking about it used to all be that same as the original chair I showed you outside in the garage, even this top. So I redid the top and painted the bottom. So I got a, basically a nice looking brand new set.